few weeks ago, Jason Allen entered into an art contest with this image, which he ended up winning. But the reason people were so upset is that his painting wasn't a painting at all. And it was actually created by an AI, an AI that fooled the judges into thinking it was created by a human. People used to think that automation would lead to this massive new creative renaissance. But now it's predicted that within 10 years, most creative content will be produced by generative technologies. From pictures to music to videos, like Meta's recently announced to make a video tool for generating video from text. Or OpenAI's essay writer, which students can use to write an entire paper on any subject of their choosing. Here's an essay about how a dog ate Peter Yang's homework. So is this going to help or hurt artists? Well, it's going to dramatically lower the barrier to entry for creative professions. Someone could have an idea for a novel, but they don't have the skills to write it. Now they don't need to. Someone might desperately want to be an artist, but they might not have been blessed with that gift. Well, now they don't need to be. But like most industry disruptors, it's neither good nor bad. It's just new. It's going to open up a new category of artists who master AI, and it will push traditional artists to explore new movements AI couldn't easily replicate. And whether you love it or hate it, you can't stop it. That is all for this video. But as always, if this video interested you, I would really appreciate it if you followed 